Okay, this video is going to show you a few things that are not obvious in OBS Video Editor. Mostly to do with the context menu, which is what you get when you click on the right mouse button. Notice here, if we select the folders, you get a rename option. You do not get that anywhere else. That's uh, one extra. Now, going over to um, a video, look at that. You can extract audio out of it. And off we go. I save to decide on the file name and off it goes. Converting the soundtrack on the video to a separate audio file. Isn't that neat? And we can add that to the audio mix for, for later. Okay, one thing that appeared to be missing was how did you add a plain colour? There used to be a button for it, but there's no button to do that now. However, you can add it through the context menu. See, there it is. And just select the colour you want. And there it is in your media library. And you can add that to the main um, um, track. Off we go. Main Maybe. video. Alright, and now I'll show you some tips and context menu things on the timeline as well. Now notice that if we insert a video here, it pushes the uh, audio mix track out. Well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? We'll just undo that. <coughs> okay, now to get around that, what we can do, we'll push that in and we can lock it. Now if it's locked it can't shift. So now if we push that in, no change. Okay, we'll just move along and we'll split that video. You also notice there's no change down here. If we take the lock off and start splitting, let's see what happens. Oop, it doesn't seem to split it at all. Okay, but what happens if we delete that segment? Oh, and it splits that in two and you've probably lost a segment down the bottom. If you don't want it to happen, lock the audio mix track. We just undid that. And we undid the previous cut as well. Something else that um, is not obvious is actually adding extra tracks for practically everything. Okay, we just put something in for a video overlay. All very nice and everything, but maybe I'll want more than one. Context menu, add line and there it is. We can go down and do the same for the audio mix. We'll come back and demonstrate that in a second. Okay going up you can do the same thing to the um, the effects. There it is just add line so you can have plenty of uh, lines and tracks. You can do it for text. You can also do it for audio. So you can have lots of sound effects, uh, scores, music, you name it. Very handy to know how to do that, and it's not obvious. Okay, you can also do freeze. What that does, it inserts a still picture of a certain length right in the middle of the video. Very handy to know that you can do that. See, there's an image, and you'll find that in the image library later on. Okay, well that's about all I have to show you on this one. Hope it helps.